and good Monday, April 19th, 2010. I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. What? As you're probably aware, Iceland's Eyjafjallajökull Jökull volcano erupted late last month, sending clouds of ash across Europe and delaying flights into and out of the continent even still today. Now volcanologists from the University of Edinburgh are warning that recent seismic activity in the region over the last decade indicates we may be nearing a period of many more even larger eruptions from Iceland. Further in doom and gloom, an asteroid headed straight for Earth entered the atmosphere, bursting into a brilliant fireball over southern Wisconsin, just before striking the roof of a shed belonging to a local farmer. The meteor fragment has been taken to UW-Madison for further analysis. There's been no word about the condition of the farmer's shed. Architect Frank Gehry has finally reached a settlement with MIT after being sued for allegedly overlooking some serious design flaws in his ambitious data center. Flaws that lead to leaks, mold, and various other problems where the indoor and outdoor meet. It's no wonder that Gary's newer IAC building here in New York has much more modest angles. See what I mean? Oh, just in time for a This Just In. WorldNet Daily is suing the White House Correspondents Association. They sent us a press release to tell you how they were, as they put it, quote, shut out, end quote, of attending the association's annual dinner. So World Net Daily is suing the WHCA for $10 million in damages. In other words, invite me to your party or pay me $10 million to stay home. And now thanks to the spam efforts of World Net Daily, we know about it. In the future, computers may function more like a living brain sooner than later, thanks to a new component called the Memristor. Memristors act like transistors, but rather than just functioning as simple on-off switches, Memristors store a record of how much voltage was applied and for how long. In this sense, Memristors function very much like the synapses between neurons. So rather than working in a linear fashion of process then store, Memristors can allow both functions to happen simultaneously, similar to how these processes function in the brain. But maybe not this guy's brain. <laughs> Don't hear too much about him these days. Anyway, this is supposed to be great news for multitaskers, but another study suggests that the human brain is only capable of handling two simultaneous tasks at a time. According to researchers at the Pierre and Marie Curie University in Paris, the frontal lobes of the brain can each handle a task independently of one another. But when a third task is introduced, overall accuracy and performance is greatly reduced. And just when you were about to buy it, along comes someone on YouTube to blow the whole theory out of the water, like Books on My Head. Books on My Head successfully balanced 15 books on her head, while reciting pi to the 100 digit and solving a Rubik's Cube, all at once. And finally for today looks like Copper Cab, the young and proud ginger, is at it again, pissed as ever about South Park. South Park, you're making another video about red-haired people. Gah! Another video! As Sylvia Plath once said, out of the ash I rise with my red hair, and I eat men like air. I.e. be careful out there folks, nobody is safe. From New York City, I'm Molly, I have a gun, and this is Rocket Boom. <laughs>